one thing about going on many vacations and stuff like that is I gain my weight back. So now I gotta start over, so we're gonna go do that. Toasted. Toasted. Straight up toasted. <laughs> All right guys, first things first. Dirty mirror, bald head. That's what I'm talking about, right? Right, check this out. Well, bam. Officially a chef. Right, babe? Oh, she's on the phone. Officially a chef. Of where leasehold estates are estates of. So fill it. I gotta get my microphone. And it's tangled. It's tangled. <laughs> my freaking batteries are gonna die before I freaking get this untangled. Come on. What's up, how's it going? I wanna teach you guys what it's like to take your real estate pre-licensing test. So I did the real estate law and I did the real estate practices and I did my New Mexico broker basics, which I don't know about how other states work, but this is just gonna be in general. So I went through the program and it took me about two weeks uh, cause I'm a little crazy, but you have up to, I think it's like eight, six, six months, I think. I think it's something crazy like that. But you have up to six months to take this course, but you could get it done in a couple weeks, maybe even one if you're even crazier than me. But I felt pretty confident that I was gonna pass my test after doing all this. And I should take this back because it took me two weeks to do the national portion and then I had to sit around and wait for broker basics. But let me tell you, I felt really confident going in to take my first test and I felt like I had it in the bag, to say the least. I felt like I had it in the bag. Truth is, I did not have it in the bag. I got pretty terrible scores. I think it was like, I got a 45 on the national and then like a 50 on the New Mexico test. So, yeah. So what I did is I studied some more. So I went and got this audio book it was on Audible, and it, it's supposed to help you ace it. I think it's by a place called Ace It. Anyways, I took the second test, and I took my time. You know, I sat there. I read each question once or twice, or maybe even three times. And at the end of it, I failed it again. Again. And that time, I was pretty... I was pretty down. I was self-doubting myself big time because I felt like if I can't pass it twice, am I gonna be able to work in this industry? And I was like freaking out, okay? So they have now on Kaplan a national PSI broker exam prep on demand course. And I decided to take that and that's what I'm currently doing. I'm about to take my post test. But here's some quick words of advice. And after I pass my test, I think I'm gonna plan on doing a whole video on this subject, but here's my words of advice to try and pass it from what I've learned so far about this PSI test. So I've heard that they have increased the difficulty of the test because in my, my idea of why they've done that is because there's so many people trying to become real estate agents and brokers right now because of the pandemic and everybody was kind of bored. I'm not joining that for that. I'm not joining this for that reason at all. I'm joining this because my wife is doing it. So I'm joining real estate because my wife had asked me to and we kind of want to work as a team. So that's why I'm joining real estate. 
one thing I've seen so far is if you don't have the right mentorship and the right people in your circle, real estate is going to be very difficult for you, especially if you don't have the drive, the motivation, and I guess you could say the hustle because it's a lot of hustling. So if you don't have the hustle, you don't have, what did I say? If you don't have the motivation, the self-drive, the hustle, maybe it's not for you. But what I've learned about this test is to not give up, to be persistent, because they have made it harder to weed out the weak. That's a fact. So I suggest that you take the full time that the test takes, which I have done the second time and I still failed, but you should take the whole entire time that they give you and make sure that you go over every question and make sure that you have the right answer. Because the weird part about the PSI test is that it's not the right answer, it's which one is the best right answer. So they made it very difficult and it's, it is very difficult. Make sure that this job is the right one for you before you jump right in because it's one of those jobs you got to jump in or not jump in at all. That's what I've learned. I've been about around real estate with my wife. For, and final words of advice is to study and study and study and study and study. Because if you don't study, you're going to fail it. Bottom line. I'm sitting here about to take my post test for my, my uh, national PSI broker exam prep on demand course. And... I'm gonna do this national portion, I'm gonna do the one for my state. So, I just wanted to give you guys a little words of advice. So, I guess we're just gonna go on to the rest of the video. I just got an 86 on my national post test. Very confident about the PSI national test now. But now I gotta do the one for my state, and then I'm going to schedule my test, and we're gonna see what I score. So anyways, on to my I've gained all my weight back, sob story. <laughs> I <laughs> have to eat better because I'm good at working out. I can work out every day if I wanted to. It's the eating part that gets me. So I'm gonna start eating a little healthier. I'm gonna, if you're not subscribed to Herrick's Kitchen, what are you waiting for? Go subscribe. And if you're not subscribed to Herrick TV yet, what do you do with your life? Hit that subscribe button, jeez. Anyways, I'm gonna create a short. See you guys later. <sighs> Dirty mirror. I look like a 1980s porn star. Starting over. Are you hungry, Mr. Boy? Micah. Mr. Boy? Okay. Mr. Boy, you hungry? Let's go, Mr. Boy. Let's go, Mr. Boy. Let's go, Mr. Boy. Much better. <coughs> so, I don't know how weather is other places, but New Mexico, it's been raining every day. And it's been kind of crazy. Uh, right now I'm sitting at a gas station. I'm waiting for this, I don't know if you call them a vendor, or delivery or what. But they go around and they they go get fruit from other states, fruits and vegetables and produce, and they bring them to where you are and deliver them. So we got some Colorado peaches coming. Oh, some of the best peaches. Colorado peaches, corn, uh, watermelon, and I think that's about it, but I had to get water too. Just out and about today. I took my New Mexico portion of the exam prep stuff and I got a, I took it a few times. The first time I got a below passing score, but then I scored, I think it was like a 76, and then I scored a 92, and then I scored a 96. So, yeah. I feel pretty confident that I'm gonna pass the test. I have it scheduled for next Tuesday at nine o'clock in the morning. Fun times. <laughs>